ladies and gentlemen. Today, the politicians are all doing the rounds on mainstream media talking about police reform, police reform. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, hell no. We don't need no more police reform coming from politicians because it doesn't work. Your police reforms don't save one person's life in the Black community. Y'all have done a kabillion police reforms. It has never saved the life of any unarmed Black man, woman, or child. Your police reforms don't work. You got police reforms already in place, and they are not saving a living soul in our community. Y'all need to shut the hell up about police reform, get rid of qualified immunity, hold these cops accountable, give us our reparations, and give us our crime bill. Anything short of that, I really don't want to hear about your police reform, Democratic Party. I don't want to hear about your police reforms. Your police reforms are proven to be useless. And it's not a hard enough stand against these unruly cops that you have out here. Every time y'all get caught looking the other way when this stuff goes on, you always want to go hooping and hollering about police reform. You did the same exact thing after the death of George Floyd. Y'all piled on TV talking about police reform. We don't need your brand of police reform. Give us something useful. Get rid of qualified immunity. And after seeing what happened to Tyree Nichols and George Floyd and many others, and you still don't think it should be gone, then you are part of the problem. You are part of the problem. And you are part of the reason why people are still getting killed out of here, out here unarmed. You are part of the problem. So, ladies and gentlemen, mainstream news, you know, th these politicians are doing what we have always seen them do. This representative is blabbing about police reform and, and that representative is blabbing about police reform and and they're just piling all over mainstream news yapping up a bunch of mess that's going to help nobody and i quite frankly i'm sick of it i'm sick of hearing about police reform that has never ever worked in this country and it has no proven track record of ever working in this country. And I'm sick and tired of hearing about it. You know, they always come with the same song and dance after a tragedy has struck. They always come with it. Even Obama got his big mouth out here talking about police reform. Y'all need to shut up, all of you. Boy, I'm sick of these politicians. I am sick of them. I'm sick of them. They they don't help a living soul. We look at all the school shootings that happened. Does it look like the cops or the politicians are saving these children out here? Of course not. Does it look like they're saving people in our community? Hell no, they're not. Their reforms don't add up to a pile of dog do. Wow, how many times are they going to come in front of everybody with the same damn song and dance? I mean, this is just ridiculous. And then to add insult to injury, 
just give it about another week or so. You'll have the police sitting here talking about, we don't get respect out here. We don't get respect to public. And, oh, they don't like cops. And uh, oh, get, Go somewhere and sit down. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. So, you know, they did bring some interesting things up in articles, not the politicians. They don't do nothing but babble and give you a headache. So they're saying in Memphis, the police force is almost 60% black. And their conduct is no different than any white supremacist police force. It is one, you know, and roughly the city is of Memphis is 65% black. And they're still going through hell with the police department there. Just imagine that. It's predominantly black in the police department and the population and the citizens are still going through hell. You know, a lot of us used to talk that, oh, well, you know, maybe if we got black cops patrolling black people. And as you can see in Tyree Nichols, it's showing you that the long as they got that mindset that you are the enemy, that's how they're going to approach you. And that's how they're going to treat you, even if you look just like them. That's what it has showed us, you know, and I've heard some people on there. Oh, well, you know, some black cops are good cops. You know what? If they are, they're being completely drowned out by the bad ones. That's all I got to say about that. Yeah, you know, oh, there's good ones. Yeah, well, the good ones seem to be completely drowned. Their voices are drowned completely out compared to the bad ones. It seems like the bad ones got all the voice in the country. They got all the power and the voice. So black Memphis residents are still trapped in a, a web of segregation. Uh, and they said they are uh, a city that has the second highest poverty rate in America with more than 500,000 residents disadvantaged that are overseen and over-policed every single day. Tyree Nichols was not killed by a bad apple, okay? He was killed by a bad police department, one of many that exist across America. So you can't even use that bad apple. And I wish y'all would just go somewhere with that bad apple talk. You're all bad apples, okay? As long as you're not fixing the system, and you are not doing something about it, you are all bad apples. So many people are frightened at the fact that many of these cops are out here determining who lives and who dies. And really that power shouldn't be in their hands, you know, like some kind of God complex, you know? So the consequences for almost everyone involved have been dire. Nichols is dead. The family and the community are in anguish and facing criminal charges. And these guys ain't even in prison. They're all bonded out. You know, so they're calling for police reform. And to me, our people within the melanated community, if you are calling for police reform, then obviously you don't know the history of police reform and how useless they have been. Police reforms have not stopped one cop from going out here on the streets mistreating people. It has not stopped one cop from terrorizing a community. We should be beyond sick of hearing about police reform. And the sad part is, 
not long from now, there's going to be another unarmed black man, no police record, and he's going to get terrorized and murdered by the police. It, we, we won't have to wait long for the next one. Because nobody got our back. We got to admit it. We got to face it. And these politicians, we need to just drag them every time they come forward and start babbling about police reform and not qualified immunity and not our reparations or anything that we are concerned about. If they're talking about anything other than that, we should be dragging them. No crime bill. They're not even talking about let's get a crime bill on the table. They're not talking about nothing. But they got the nerve to go grab Kamala to try to fix a problem that they caused in the first place. Black male voters turning away from the Democratic Party, something they caused. I'm done with these politicians, but y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.